Hey everybody, David Andrews here. We're talking about the 10 healthy habits for high energy living. We're on habit number nine, which is sleep. We're looking into different things we can do on a regular basis or even a one-time basis to try to improve our deep level of sleep because sleep we know is extremely important to restoring our body to allowing all of our cells really to go to work replenishing, repairing all the damage in our brain and in our body. So it's really important to get a really good night's sleep. And if you're struggling, and actually some research I was just reading suggests that three quarters of the U.S. population struggle with sleep. Uh, but it's not something people talk too much about or maybe there just hasn't been enough solutions. So what I want to share with you today is just some ideas that I've uncovered myself and some experience that I've had with sleep when it relates to very specifically vitamin D and vitamins B. So vitamin D technically is really a hormone and it's regulated in our body and certain neurotransmitters help regulate our ability to fall asleep and to fall into deep sleep. And it's really triggered by vitamin D. So this is some information that I just came across from a medical doctor. Her name is Dr. Stacia Gominak. It's G-O-M-I-N-A-K. A brilliant physician who's been working with her clients for years, helping them solve their sleep problems. And she really dug deep and figured out a lot of things with regard to vitamin D and vitamin, the B vitamins. So I'll put a link to one of her podcasts in the description if you'd like to go deeper. But I want to share with you what my experience is in this area of sleep and vitamin D. So just naturally through my own personal experience, a few years ago, I really made a concentrated effort in the summer, especially spring, summer, and early fall, to be outside in the middle of the day with my shirt off, wearing shorts or swim trunks on the lake or just walking or just being outside because you have to have skin exposure to get vitamin D generated in your body from sunlight. So the more skin exposed, the better your vitamin D production. And I have a whole series of videos on this. If you want to go back and look on my channel, there's 10 videos about light. That's habit number one. And just focusing on habit number one will technically almost be really sh probably sure you'll improve on habit number nine, which is sleep. So these all go together in, in order to create high energy. But we need to sleep and we need a deep sleep at night to restore so that the next day we can be back in a high energy state. So as I went out in the sunlight more and more and more, and I conditioned my sun, my skin rather, to absorb more light. And that's, and you can know when that is happening because your body will adjust and you'll get tan if you're a Caucasian. If you're already a dark skin color, you just need to be out in the sun more for like African Americans who have darker skin or say from India, the darker the skin, the more sunlight you need to continue to keep your vitamin D levels up. So that's why it's just so important in the spring, summer, fall to spend as much time as possible outdoors gathering sunlight. And in the winter, then what you'll need to do is supplement, right? If you're in the northern hemisphere, the north of the 35th parallel, your body will not be able to generate any vitamin D from sunlight because the angle of the sun is just simply too low. And you can test that by just looking at your shadow. If your shadow is longer than the height of your body, the sun's too low, no vitamin D. That's a simple technique. So you wanna look into supplements in the winter time. And then those D vitamins have to be also balanced with your gut bacteria. Your microbiome has to be adjusted with make sure it has enough positive bacteria, and that bacteria may need some B vitamins as a boost. So you're a B complex of either 50 milligrams or 100 milligrams may be the solution. And then you weave that together and can definitely improve sleep. So if you want to go deeper, please check out the link in this video to a very detailed and much longer podcast on this topic. I'm just giving you an introduction to the idea in my experience that I started sleeping better when I got out in the sun more. And so that means my vitamin D was going up. I also have an app called D-Minder. I can monitor how much D I'm getting from sunlight. 
Lots of great ideas. Again, go back and watch the videos on light. Can definitely give you some tips on getting your vitamin D levels up and then boost your vitamin B complex, at least for a short amount of time, maybe a month or two or three, and then stop and see if that levels out because your gut biome, once it's balanced, will create the B vitamins so you don't want extra because otherwise you'll overdo the B vitamins. That will also disrupt your sleep. So it gets a little complex. Please seek out some additional information on this. Wanted to introduce you to vitamin D, which is really a hormone, and vitamin B. And if you put those two together, it could have a benefit to your sleep. So I hope you're sleeping well. And again, I hope you're feeling the energy and it's high and positive and you're really enjoying an improvement in your overall well-being.